can see all of you perfectly. All right, good morning, Wildcats. As you see here, we have some special guests in studio today, live coming from the office. We have the Destination Imagination team. We're going to talk a little bit about them, but first, I would like them to introduce themselves. So they're going to go down the row in a nice big voice and say their names, and then you'll be last. Go for it. My name is Charlie. My name is Parker. My name is Sophia. My name is Aza. My name is Maxwell. My name is Elliot. All right. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this group of kids. And I know some of you got a chance to even watch their performance the other day uh, here in the amphitheater. Well, this group took first place this weekend at the San Joaquin Valley DI Regional Tournament. They competed against middle school kids, middle school like Kasner. And they won. Yep, they won with their scientific challenge up close. This team is six plus one equals seven, correct? Yes. Your dad made a typo. He said six minus one equals seven, but I know that six minus one doesn't equal seven. So, Mr. Bonetto, you might need to work on your addition. Six plus one equals seven. And up here, you see Elliot Carly Bonetto. Well, guess what? She is not part of the team. She's actually their coach. And you know that she, well, I guess you are still part of their team, right? But but she coached as a sixth grader all of these first graders. These first graders went up against middle school students and they won. So we are so, so, so proud of you. And we have one more member, Daniel Shapatko, right? He's not here. He's not here, but he is our other member. And Elliot, on top of that, received an award called the Da Vinci Award for working with and being a role model for younger students on her team. So how cool is that? She got an award, the whole team got an award, and we are so proud of each of you. Awesome job. And I think they got only, some medals. Yep. Can you come show us your medal? I think a couple of you guys forgot. Stick it up real close. St can, can you take it off for me so I don't choke you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's never fun. This is Dewey choking children. That's <laughs> probably not a good idea, right? It says first place on the back. And if you look right there, it says destination, imagination, regional championship tournament. So that is a very, very special award. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. I am so proud of each of you. All right, Elliot, do you want to include anything? Nope. All right. <laughs> Wonderful job. Let's get a little fist, fist action. Don't hit me. Don't hurt me. Woo! Oh, you try to give me a little spice there. Elliot, will you shut the door, please? All right. Here we go, boys and girls. We're going to do these quickly because we have... We have the drama. The drama uh, students are going to go they see are. the Kasner play, The Little Mermaid. Sorry, my hair is just looking I had a bad hair day, too. I'm really, really having a bad hair day. Up. Okay, so today, you guys, it's so exciting. We get to start registering our kindergartners for next Woo! school year. Yes, new Wildcats. So if you see somebody that's unfamiliar on campus or they're like, I don't know where to go, send them to the main office because that's where you register for kindergarten. Or your parents do actually. The kids don't probably kids do don't, that by themselves. No. Uh, today's character counts day. We had oral interp this morning. Uh, drama will be leaving here shortly. We will have lunch outside, and the library is closed after school because we have a staff meeting. Staff, I know you're looking forward to it. I know you always do. All right, and we have no cheer practice today for lunch. Make a choice: chicken patty. Chicken patty. It's not golden and it's not crispy. It's just it's chicken. It's just a chicken patty today. Chicken, chicken patty. And bean and cheese burrito, green beans, carrots, and raisins. Hey, guess what tomorrow is? We got to think of something. First Thursday fun, Ooh. decades day. We could be the 80s girls and wear our workout gear. We could. Or we could be... Um, like floppers from the 20s. Oh, or we could wear our poodle skirt. Skirts. Our poodle skirts. skirts. Poodle skirts. I don't think I have any of that. I don't either. Okay. So, decades day. You could be a 70s person, an 80s person, a 90s person. Those are decades. You could be the 1900s if you really wanted to. So, if you are unsure, ask your parents. And, of course, it's always optional. You do not have to participate. But we'd love to have a little fun with you guys. Decades Day, Thursday, first Thursday fun. Teachers, guess what? You can wear jeans. Yep, that's right. I'm so nice. Okay, and sixth graders, don't forget, if your parents want to have an individualized page in the yearbook, 
those are due on Friday. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that it does not rain on Friday because we have home games and snack bar, but it does look like it might rain. So on that note, boys and girls, this is a serious issue for Mrs. Dewey. Serious. Very serious issue. Serious. Okay. If you have not yet noticed, I have been at this school since the year 2007. None of you were born. Okay. 2007. The lost and found has never, ever, ever been as full as it is right now. So myself and a couple friends helped put the things out today. And I have made little aisles or rows so that you can go by. Teachers, I beg you to go by with your classes today or tomorrow. We are leaving it out. So it will be out Wednesday and Thursday this week. Everything that is left by March 11th is goodbye. So the biggest message is, boys and girls, if you get hot during recess, which this time of year that starts to happen, if you get hot during recess and you set your sweater or your coat or something down, you need to pick it up after recess and bring it inside so that we don't have a large lost and found overload. I've already seen some parents, including myself, this time it was the little one. Uh, find some things that were lost in the lost, lost and found. And hey, Max Monopoly, shout out to your parents because they put your name in something and I was able to get that back to you. Uh, there's lunch pals, there are uh, umbrellas, there are $100 jackets, there are water bottles, there are hair bows, there are, I threw the masks away, I'm not going to lie, I threw them away because that was gross and I'm sick of looking at masks and touching them, so I threw those away. But please take a peek. That means... No eating on the amphitheater today. It'll all be on the grass or the sidewalks or the uh, ledges. We are not eating on the amphitheater because it is full, full, full. Don't take anything that's bound. not yours, though. Oh, yeah. This is not a shopping opportunity. Boys and girls, that's very important for you to know. These are items from someone that lost something. The other thing is I know sometimes you think you're being helpful by picking something up. You think belongs to someone and then you go and you ask them and they're like no that's not mine and then guess what you leave it in the hall so please only take what belongs to you only what belongs to you and let this be a lesson to put your name in your things okay i've talked too long it's your turn all right the budget cover art contest is here all students in kinder through six can participate all art entries are due to Miss Mushagian in room 13 after school on March 23rd. So you do have some time cool. and you do need a permission slip. So ask your teacher if you would like to participate in the budget cover art contest. Somebody asked me about the $100 award that I mentioned the other day. Oh. And that is for uh, the Soroyan Soroyan. writing contest. So if you're block interested w. in that, block W for either of those items, an art contest, an essay contest. Yep. All right, Math Cats from room 13, 100 subtraction, Noah S. And then the next three are from room two, 100 addition, Kira G. 60 subtraction, Kelpie S. 60 subtraction, Mason R. Nice work. Miss Wicks is going to pass me the positivity project because we are working this week on not this one, right? No, I think that's what's last week. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're working on it supporting is. others. What is it? No, it says that. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. So we are uh, cheering others on. Cheering others on. So uh, just make sure that you are working hard at being kind, really, is the message today. And cheering other people on. Maybe they've reached a goal. Um, something like that, that we would love to be able to celebrate. So today we have two birthdays. Happy, happy birthday to Everett Johnson and Teddy Miner. Oh, happy we had a clap from the hallway. To you. Do we have another special guest waiting to come hang out with us? Come on in. Are you just, guest wants to go. The special guest wants us to hurry up. Okay, <laughs> so here's the joke of the day. And what day is it? It is... Dr. Seuss Day. Dr. Seuss Day. That, that is a correct. Cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. Okay. This is a good one, you guys. This Last is really thing. Good. Okay. Dad joke of the day. I broke up with my console. Now it's my Xbox. It wasn't anything personal. I just felt like it was time for a Switch. Xbox and Switch. Those are consoles. Oh, ha! yeah. All of you gamers, you got that. Yeah. You got that. Yeah. 
We are funny. We We're are funny. Very funny. We're great. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Drama students, it is time to go. Enjoy your play and represent Valley Oak in the best way possible. Later, skater.